puppies from Peter down at Mudgee. Now the most humane way to dispatch these uh, little critters is to put some ice water. Put them in ice water for over an hour. As you can see, they're perfect to put in the water right now. Okay, not moving at all. Now the dish that I'm going to cook up today is just some chili yabbies with a mango salsa. I'm going to put that on top of a spinach, uh, tossed with some macadamias. All right, so straight away we're going to put our yabbies in, in the pot, boiling salted water. Probably going to need around about nine yabbies for this. Now I'm only going to cook these for around about 30 seconds to a minute. Now most people at home will be thinking, geez, that's not long enough to cook a yabby. But I don't want to cook them all the way through. I only want to sort of half cook them so they're still a bit raw. But what it will do is help me peel the yabbies and make it a lot easier. While the yabbies are boiling, I make a quick marinade with plenty of sweet chilli sauce. Some soya sauce, a few drops of sesame seed oil and lime juice. The yabbies are now done, so I bring them off the heat, drain them and refresh them in ice water to stop the cooking process and it makes them easier to peel. Can you give me a bit of a hand to peel these, Scott? Yeah, mate, no problem. Okay, Sorry. we'll just break the tail off. Right. Yep. Okay, just gently, all right, like so. Oh, they peel pretty easy, don't they? Yeah, just like a prawn, really. Yep. We'll just give this a bit of a stir. And then you can throw them into the marinade as they're done. And we'll give them a coat, beautiful. Yeah, the reason why we do undercook them is so that they don't dry out when we, when we actually do the finished product, because we're almost probably, I suppose, cooking them twice. After we've marinated the yabbies, I put them on the skewer ready to cook. To accompany the dish, I toast some chopped macadamia nuts, combine it with some English spinach and wait for it to wilt. Then I plate it up and make a start on cooking the yabbies. We just want to get a little bit of colour on these, Scott. All right. Yep. Now I have made a little bit of a mango dipping sauce that I'm going to put on the top of here. Just we've got mango in there, some yep. red onion yep. and some coriander. And I'm going to throw a little bit more lime juice in there just to give it a little bit of a zing. Turn the heat off. There we go, lovely. Now we're going to put a little bit of mango salsa just on the side here. And there we have it guys, beautiful, mudgy, yabbies, caramelised with sweet chilli with a macadamia nut and spinach, English spinach wilted and we've got some beautiful mango salsa, how good does that look? Now Pete, just for you and Margaret down there at the yabby farm, just like to put this little garnish, this little fella on top and there we go. How's that taste? Mm, all the flavours are good, aren't they? The yeah, it all goes the, together. The chilli and the mango. Beautiful. Mm. I might uh, put the billy on. Yeah. Knock us up a cup of tea. I'll just keep an eye out for that snake. Don't worry about your snake. Told you you <laughs> won't hurt you. They're beautiful. Well, a special thanks, guys, to all our partners who joined us, and I hope you guys enjoyed these clips. And don't forget to join us every week here at The Hook and the Cook, and don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And we'll see you every Friday here at the Hook and the Cook. Cheers, guys.